Benji Kaiser here today, and today we're talking about kerning. So what is kerning in graphic design? Well, right now, I'm going to speed on up to this sign here, and we're going to talk through that a little bit so you can get kind of the design concept on what kerning is within graphic design. So we're going to do that right now. to type technicalities in graphic design, you hear the three main ones, which are kerning, letting, and tracking. So in this video, we're talking about kerning, and the kerning is the space between each individual letter. So you look up here on the sign, you see Globe International. So in between the G and the L would be the space between, would be the kerning between. So when you extend or decrease, you're going to make the gap wider or more narrow, depending on which way you boost your kerning or decrease your kerning. So again, kerning is simply the space between each individual letter. Now we're going to swing on over to my computer. I'm going to show you how to actually edit that within InDesign. Welcome over to my screen now, and I'm going to show you within InDesign how to edit the kerning between letters. Once you have your text box selected, you come up here, grab the type tool, which will activate the type settings, click between two letters, and then you'll see up here this letter dash letter, which is the kerning setting click into there and you can start to edit the space between individual letters right there with the kerning. Now the really cool thing about being able to manipulate the kerning is because you can get a lot of different fonts from say Font Squirrel or Defont and sometimes when they come in they haven't been well created or curated and so you have these awkward spaces. Some are too wide, some are too narrow. So what you can do is you can really get in here and start to manipulate and make it look aesthetically pleasing. But right here with this Myriad Pro, we don't need editing. This is a very well-made font, and it's been created very well, so the spacing is nearly perfect. That's how you edit the kerning within InDesign. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. If you have any questions, please comment below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notifier so you don't miss out on any of the videos. And hit the like button if you found value from this video. I will see you here in the next episode.